Welcome back to Hardly Minding My Business. I am your host, Dashing D, and we're back. So, hmm, a lot has been going on the last couple of weeks. Um, I know that my episodes have been primarily bi-weekly. Um, that will normalize in the new year, but bi-weekly is working right now. So, um, so anyway, I just wanted to say that, but we are two days out from Christmas and I'm not ready. Like not even a little bit, like, okay, maybe a little bit. There are still Christmas gifts that need to be bought. Like people I'm going to see on Christmas gifts need to be bought. <laughs> I don't even know. I am all, when I say that I am all over the place right now, I am all over the place. I cannot get it together for the life of me. I have been trying, but I don't know. I just, I don't think I was feeling Christmas this year. Um, it just came up fast and then I don't know, I kept pushing it off and pushing it off and saying, oh, I have these things to do. I'm, I'm gonna do them. And then he <laughs> December 19th came and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I don't know. I don't know if I'm prepared. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I have the bandwidth to do this. Um, I did try to get in the holiday spirit though. I went to one of those holiday bars um, in the city and it was interesting. It was decked out in all of this holiday gear, uh, ornaments and lights and shrub. Is that shrub? Tinsel? Tinsel. Tinsel was everywhere. <laughs> and um, the drinks were pretty good. I had like this, this eggnog, uh, this, some spiked eggnog that was pretty good. It was like, I don't know, it had like gingerbread topping on the whipped cream or something. That was delicious. I forget what kind of alcohol was in there. I don't remember. Um, I wanna say it was bourbon. Uh, and then I also had this boozy hot chocolate, which was divine. Very strong, but divine. Um, that place was hella crowded, hella crowded. I was stressed. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was stressed. Like crowds these days ain't for me. As a matter of fact, I went into the city yesterday and I mean, it's always crazy coming up on Christmas in Manhattan, but wow, I could not walk anywhere. I went to Midtown. I had to go pick up a gift actually. I went roaming around not really roaming around but just trying to walk to get to where i was going and it was crazy it was nuts i was like i don't know if i could do this i don't know if i'm gonna make it uh i just i don't i don't really know <laughs> what i'm supposed to do with this um so that was really stressful and um you know um i made it through i'm on tiktok lately watching people uh, who talk about uh, getting gifts for themselves uh, rather than buying Christmas gifts for other people. I would like to say that I have actually uh, become reformed. I used to do this. I used to like Black Friday would come and all the sales would come and I would buy things for myself when really I should have been buying gifts for everyone else. Um, I haven't been doing that lately, but I do, I can identify with that uh, that mentality, yeah, I feel like all of my 20s, I was not concerned. I'm always, I've always been a last minute person when it comes to shopping, um, but I was unconcerned until the last second. But I usually have a plan. This is the first year where, again, I just, I don't know what's going on with me. It's all over the place, but um, <laughs> I'm trying to get into the holiday spirit as much as I can. Um, hopefully, I don't doubt Christmas will be good. I'll spend it with my family. It'll be nice, um, off for a couple days. So that's nice. And yeah, 
yeah, I don't really have a whole lot, uh, a whole lot else to say. Um, it is December 22nd, which means, uh, the best man final chapters have come out, um, on Peacock. Uh, this is not an ad. Um, I feel like I want to do a little something with the show. Um, I'll say more on that next week, but <laughs> uh, next episode. But I feel like I want to do something with that. Being that it just came out today, obviously I am not going to spoil anything. I never spoil anything right away. But what I will say is that I did catch the first three episodes. I was itching to watch this all day, but I had work to do. So <laughs> I found a way to squeeze it in at some point uh, during my day, y'all, y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't, I'm so excited because I've always loved The Best Man. I didn't love Best Man Holiday as much as I loved the first movie. Um, but this feels like redemption for this, the second movie. Um, it is like meeting up with, with old friends, like the friends that you can just meet up with and, you know, you just fall right back into the swing of things with them when you're hanging out with them. That is what this feels like. I am just, I gotta be honest, I'm obsessed <laughs> with this show already. And I've only seen three episodes and maybe it's because, you know, I'm so familiar with the characters. Um, we, we know the characters, so we don't really have to learn about them. We're just catching up, literally catching up with them on where they are now. And it's really interesting for a lot of, uh, reasons. It explores a lot of different, um, a lot of different topics, um, and I, <laughs> beautiful black people, I mean, just everywhere, just, okay, can we just, Morris Chestnut, all right? Morris Chestnut. Now, if you're new here, then you don't know how much I love Morris Chestnut. If you are not new here, then you know exactly what time it is. You know how excited I am to see him on my screen. Um... His chestnut can roast on my fire anytime. I just, it's more his chestnut. I mean, <laughs> the amount of chocolate in this show, like the amount of chocolate in this show. There's a bug over there, I gotta kill it. <laughs> yeah, the amount of chocolate And caramel the amount of <laughs> the amount of melanin I just I am I am enjoying this already I mean like I said Morris Chestnut um, may he roast on my open fire someday but also Tay Diggs can we talk about Tay Diggs because Tay Diggs never really did it for me but I feel like Tay Diggs is getting better with time. He looks really good. He's bald now. It suits him. I almost just feel like his grown man look and his grown man vibe just works for him. Um, he's on All American. I know I fudged the coaches the last time, but he's he was actually... <laughs> He's been on All American since the beginning of the show. I talk about All American all the time. And he really has, like, Tay Diggs has grown up in a very good way. And, and I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. You know, we got Terrence Howard in there. I don't know everybody's name, so I'm not going to drop everybody's name. But Terrence Howard is in there um, doing what he does. Um... Nia Long, Nia Long, we've talked about Nia Long recently and her uh, situation with her man that she was going through. Actually, update on that. Apparently, she uh, moved out of their home, um, got herself a new place. 
so good for her. Um, I, and I think they did report that the two of them split. I mean, she made her choice and you know, I get it. Um, <laughs> so who else do we have? Who else do we have? Um, Nicole Ari Parker is in it. Was I supposed to say that? Did everybody know that? Is that a spoiler? I don't think that's a spoiler. Maybe it is a spoiler. Whatever. Nicole Ari Parker is is in it. I love Nicole Ari Parker. Um, she kills it. Um, I love that she's she's still getting all of the jobs. She was. Um, I don't want to say most recently in case I'm missing something that she was in, but she's also um, cast on the Sex and the City reboot and she did a great job doing that. I just love her energy and I love the way she can kind of meld herself into these characters um, that she plays. So she's there. Melissa DeSosa is still there. I think I'm saying her name correctly. Um, I'm missing somebody. Regina Hall. That is Regina Hall, right? Y'all got me together with that last episode where I talked about Liam Neeson and Margot Robbie. I know. Listen, I know the black people's names. I don't know. I don't know the white people's names. I'm sorry. I'm a, I would say that I'm going to do better, but I don't know that I am because I don't know that I'm that invested in who they are. But for the purpose of this podcast, the next time I want to drop names i will absolutely um make sure that i double check that but you know listen i i forget names sometimes i forget names i do my bad uh, sorry to that man and that woman i still don't know the girl's name i really don't um but the the man in the movie the menu was ralph fines just just so we're clear on that but anyway back to the best man um, I really didn't mean to start with this, but I just kind of want to get it out the way because I'm not going to talk about it in what I'm watching. Um, <laughs> it's really good. It's really, really good. And everybody looks good. Everybody looks like they're thriving and healthy. Um, the writing is great. Uh, I want to say more about the context but I want to give people a chance to watch it. So I'll just say, again, I think, you know, we're going to do something, something interesting with the show because I'm really excited about the show and I want to talk about it a lot. So let's see what happens there. I don't want to say too much just in case it does not work out. Um, Y'all know I'm still trying to figure out this video thing. Um, but yeah, so uh, the best man, please, please watch with me so that we can talk about it. We can engage about it. Um, and since we're talking about engaging, make sure you, you check out my YouTube. There are some, there's some content that's going straight to YouTube and nowhere else. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hardly Minding My Business, so that you can get all the additional content. I mean, listen, it's additional content and right now it's free. So... <laughs> So, you know, take advantage of all the extras that come up, especially in between episodes. Um, if you're uh, wondering what I'm thinking or what's going on with me, there's also me on TikTok and me on uh, Instagram at Hardly Minding My Business and Dashing underscore D. So anyway, let's get back to it. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, did we have a petty yarn all this week? I don't really have a petty or not. I don't really have a petty or not. What I will say is selfishness in a partner is not cute. I heard a story recently uh, that I will not share, but I heard a story recently um, about a couple and it just made me think that, you know, you have to be able to 
give and receive um and selfishness uh when you're in a relationship just doesn't doesn't work um it might work for a period of time but over time it will not work it just it just won't um i've talked about it before uh in terms of uh people and their selfishness and what happens when you are selfish in life and then uh you pass along and sometimes you leave behind some of the residual effects of being selfish um so that's all i'll say about that um also hardly minding my business mugs are live i'll put the link in the show notes where you can get your mug and there are also hoodies and crew necks um similar to the design here and then there's a special one that looks like a podcast logo so happy holidays <laughs> all right we gotta get to it i spoke about this on lhrc so i don't want to go too deep into it here but what i will say is diddy had a baby like Diddy, Love, Puff Daddy, um, Puffy, um, Sean Combs had a baby. His shooters are shooting, you know? It's so interesting to me that men get older and they're still so fertile. Um, and women, women always talk about their struggles and how, you know, over time, uh, you know, viability, uh, depreciates. It's, it's so wild. Um, but anyway, that's not why we're here. Diddy had a baby. Nobody knew. I didn't know. I know y'all didn't know. We're not sure, but maybe Carisha didn't know. Um, who is not his girlfriend by the way i just want to point that out um just so we're clear because i know people got at her on the internet and she got right back at them but people got at her on the internet um and tried to clown her because he had a baby with someone else and well they're not in a relationship and as weird and messy as a situation like that could be She said that's not her man. And he said that's not his woman. He be seen with women all canoodling with women all the time. And I feel like it suits their lifestyles. You know? But who knew Diddy was having a baby? Apparently the baby is two months old. No one knew. That's a really well-kept secret. Really well-kept. I don't really know what to say about it other than a single man had a baby with uh, <laughs> some woman. I don't know. I think what makes it interesting, again, is that he's been so pub publicly involved not together but involved with um young miami that now it's like ooh, okay what you what what's going on? what's going on with y'all like what's really going on because you know people need to know like people people are nosy like that people hardly mind their business and they want to know what's going on but really it's none of our business and what they do that don't got nothing to do with us. Um, so I guess, you know, shout out to that baby. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what else we got on the docket? Lori Harvey. Okay. Now I had said a long time ago, I wasn't going to talk too much about Lori Harvey because 
I mean, I don't really feel like there's a need to, you know, she's out there living her best rich and fabulous and beautiful life. And that's cool. But then, you know, she got with Damson Id Idris. And so I have to say, you know, shout out to you, Lori. We don't really know what's going on there. We don't have any details, but we do know that she's been seen hanging out with Damson Idris. If you don't know who Damson Idris is, Google Snowfall and all will be revealed. He's fine too. There's a lot of fine black men just roaming around the place. Anyway, <laughs> neither here nor there. <laughs> neither here nor there, okay? Just, no. Um. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention? I was talking about Tay Diggs and Morris Chestnut and the best man, but I forgot to mention that lately, Morris Chestnut has been on All American with Tay Diggs. Listen, as much Morris Chestnut as I can get, because let's be clear about something. I talk about his looks. And yes, he is a pretty face, but he, he can act his ass off too. I enjoy watching him. I'm very entertained by him. And maybe it's because, you know, again, he can, um, you know, roast it. But I dig it. I like it. I like seeing him on like regular TV dramas. Um, he gets it in and he looks great. He also looks great with a beard which I wouldn't have really thought of. But the beard looks good on him. The beard and the baldy. I like it. I like it. All right, I know y'all getting tired of me talking about Morris Chestnut. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I get it. I get it. Um, but, but yeah, so, you know, we covered Lori and Damson. We covered the best man. Kaylani and Letitia Wright have been seen together. I don't know why y'all won't leave those women alone. They were dancing together at a club or something like that. Now everybody thinks that they're together. Y'all know people like who are friendly with each other dance with each other too. Like when they go to the club because it's the club and people dance. I'm not saying they're not together. I'm not saying that they're not involved. But also it could just be two people having a good time. Y'all gotta stop making assumptions. Maybe I should mind your business. <laughs> Maybe I should mind my business. Who knows? Whatever. Anyway, we're having fun. Anyway, um, moving right along. It's not a whole lot of crazy topics today. What I what I do want to talk about before we get to what I'm watching, let us please, please. <laughs> Uh, let us please talk about the fact that it appears that Insecure will be in syndication on OWN. Um, they showed, I was watching something on OWN a few days ago and there was like a little tiny vignette of a snippet from Insecure. And all it said at the end was coming soon to, and with the own logo. And I was like, wait a minute, what is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. So it appears that uh, Issa cut, it, cut a deal with OWN and she is going to be um, running Insecure um, in syndication on OWN. And I love that for her. I hope honestly that it pops up in other places too. Like, get that money, honey. I mean, and we love Insecure over here. I still go back to it sometimes. That Lawrence and Issa episode. Still so romantical. I just... <laughs> still so romantical. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to talk about the best man. I know I'm going back to it. I can't wait to talk about it because there's just one scene where I was like, oh my gosh, how romantic is this? And I can't tell you guys because I'm trying to do the right thing. But I really want to tell you guys about this one particular scene. It's actually where I left off. Um, but oh, I said, oh, I need somebody to, oh, okay. Who's, 
is anyone available? Is anyone available <laughs> to do this with me? But anyway, whatever. Um, so one more uh, thing that's uh, pretty damn juicy that I know everybody has heard about by now because, you know, uh, the last time the podcast was recorded was a couple weeks ago. So uh, we did not get to talk about TJ Holmes and Amy Robach. There's really not a whole lot to say. Uh, this is kind of similar to the Diddy situation where it's like, well... Yes, people may think that they were cheating on their spouses, but when this t this situation was introduced to us, apparently they had already broken it off with their spouses. So just to backtrack, TJ Holmes and Amy Robach work on Good Morning America. I think they do GMA3 together, if I'm not mistaken. That's the third hour of GMA. Um... All these pictures came out released by the Daily Mail because you know the Daily Mail does not mind their business at all. Daily Mail releases images and video of them in what some would call compromising positions. Them holding hands in a cab, him leaving her place, she leaving his place, um, him grabbing her butt. Um, apparently they had like went away for the weekend and I don't know, I guess the private investigator, cause it wasn't a paparazzi photo. The private investigator caught him grabbing her butt as they were unloading the car. It's just really interesting because a lot of people have seen them interact on GMA and been like, I've heard people say this to me. I don't really watch GMA too much. Maybe once every six months or something like that. But people I know who have watched GMA for a long time was like, oh, yeah, I saw it. I knew it. You could tell. You could tell they were fucking. Oh, okay. So you could just tell they were fucking? I mean, yes, there are. <laughs> Some people have that chemistry where you look at them, you like, y'all fucking? Because y'all look like y'all fucking. Y'all sure y'all not fucking? Anywho. The point of the matter is, well, there's really no point here. It's just, they were doing what they do and now it's out. They got pulled from GMA because according to the network, uh, according to Disney, they were uh, creating a distraction um, because everybody's talking about it. Everybody's buzzing about it. And they replaced TJ for the time being at least with uh, this guy named DeMarco, I don't remember his last name right now, but DeMarco is fine too. Let me tell you about TJ Holmes though. I saw TJ Holmes one day on the train. TJ Holmes in person is as polished as he looks on GMA. His suit was so, I've never seen a suit tailored the way his suit was tailored. I mean, down to the T. And if you know anything about sewing, oh my gosh, like it. When I tell you the tailoring of his suit was impeccable, it was impeccable. So <laughs> I notice him, I'm sitting down, he's standing at the doors right across from me and I'm looking at him and I'm like, that's TJ Holmes. Oh my gosh, it's TJ Holmes. I'm not someone who really fangirls, but I'm like, okay, let me look at him and you know, give him like the, you know, the black person head nod where you see another black person and you're like, mm-hmm, I see you, you know, we're safe, we're good, we, we see each other, yeah. I basically tried to do that and TJ basically ran off the train. I guess he felt like he had been made and he didn't want anybody to bother him. I mean, that's fine. But yeah, that's my story about TJ Holmes. Not <laughs> the most fascinating story, but yeah, you know, he ran from me one day. I'm pretty sure that's why he like belted off the train as soon as the doors opened, but you know, I can't prove it. But yeah, it's hella fascinating. Um, not their story, but just... <laughs> <laughs> that moment was I was like oh, okay well we'll see you later then TJ <laughs> bye <laughs> but he really is um he really is very attractive um and very well dressed I mean just ooh. anyway the point of the matter is this thing happens and then it started coming out that he you know he kind of you know loves on his co-workers a little bit that's a that's a thing that he is uh that he does um I mean 
that's a pretty normal thing for people to gravitate towards people they work with. And you know, if, if that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to do. The only issue there is that, you know, if you have a spouse who did not sanction uh, said, you know, extracurricular activities, then you might have some problems. Um, so I'm curious to see uh, what happens with them if they're able to return to their jobs. I think initially Disney was behind them and Disney kind of, for a couple days, Disney let them go to work and it was fine and everybody was cool. But I think the moment it started to grow and become too much, they were like, okay, we gotta, we gotta stop for a second. And we, we you know, we don't want people to only focus on this, but I'm sure their rating shot through the roof. So maybe they'll come back. Maybe they won't. I doubt they'll come back on the same slate. Um, like maybe they'll be on different hours if they do both return. Something tells me one at least one of them is not coming back. Um, what else we got to talk about? Oh, let's talk about what I'm watching. Because I've watched a lot in the last few weeks. First of all, it's Christmas. And I know like everybody's been contacting me. Hey, watch this Christmas movie. Watch this. Watch that. There's Christmas movies everywhere. There's Hallmark. There's Lifetime. There's Hulu. There's Netflix. There's HBO Max. <laughs> BT has holiday movies everybody has holiday movies um I haven't been feeling it this Christmas and speaking of this Christmas that's the only holiday movie that I've really watched tried and true it's black and it's Christmassy you know so you've got Delroy Lindo in it um you got uh Loretta Devine Chris Brown Lauren London, um, Idris Elba. A few other people that I can't remember right now, but we all know them and love them. And you know, that's just my, one of my favorite Christmas movies. So I, you know, I watched it and I'm probably gonna watch it again before the week is over. If I'm being honest, just cause it makes me feel good. Um, So yeah, I'm not. I'm probably not watching any other Christmas movies. Please don't recommend any to me. I don't. I don't. I'm not into it. I told y'all I am trying to get in the Christmas spirit, but I am not there. But anyway, two other things that I've watched recently that I really would recommend. The first one is um, this HBO Max docu series about Rupert Murdoch, actually. Rupert Murdoch, who is the head of uh, Fox News, as well as, you know, a huge media conglomerate. Um, if you Google Rupert Murdoch, you can uh, look at his resume. Um, I won't, I will spare you his long resume, but if you know the show Succession, and I've talked about the show Succession before, I'm obsessed with Succession. Succession is loosely based on the Murdoch family. Um, Succession starts off mirroring things that actually happened with the Murdoch family because the big story about the Murdochs is that Rupert knows that he has to select someone to take his place when he is no longer around to run the company, to run the companies. And... He has toyed with his children for years, years. He has toyed with them and had them pine for the job of his successor. And every time he gets close to choosing the next person who will run the company, he kind of just goes, actually, I'm good. He made a whole public announcement about how, I don't even remember how old he is, but he's pretty darn old. <laughs> he made a whole public announcement about how, yeah, it's going to be a long time before anyone else takes over this company. So don't even worry about it. Um, and that's what kind of makes the story about this family fascinating. Um, but they go through uh, how the company has grown and changed um, from when he was doing newspapers in London um, to uh, the New York Post, to Fox News becoming a thing, and then the rise and fall, I guess, of Donald Trump um, 
and you know everything that's happened between the beginning of him starting this business and now um, and they talk a lot about you know the kids and uh, the, su the succession of it all so if you are someone who is interested in succession I would highly 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 recommend this docuseries it is just fascinating and you know I love white mess I do and the Murdochs give you the right amount of white mess and the reason why it's so good is because it's real ain't nothing better than some um figurative mess than some some real mess uh, uh you know when it comes to the white folks so anyway <laughs> um i've been watching that and then the other thing that i've been watching which actually kind of has a similar not the same but it has that whole succession thing um uh about it is the riches on amazon prime um it is about a family who they lose their father and all the kids uh who live with him he lives in africa or the family is from africa but apparently at some point in life he was married before and he had two children he left that family to go have this other family so he had three additional children with the wife who survived him and they all think when they go to the will reading that they are going to be uh one of them at least is going to run the family business now that he's gone and he throws a monkey wrench into it um with the will again i'm really trying not to be the person who spoils but riches is really good it's an all black cast so that's really interesting um i feel like it's a story that hasn't been that hasn't been told from that perspective um and it's also really interesting because uh they're kind of uh existing on multiple coasts um it's mostly based in it's mostly set in africa but um it also has some um there is some connection to the states also i just find it really interesting it's messy <laughs> it is messy there is scandal there is you know listen anytime you got like cheating embezzlement um <laughs> just sibling rivalry <laughs> okay you know the why the the old wife and the new wife <laughs> not really getting along you know you're gonna have an interesting show so i would say check that out um you know if you're interested to interested in stuff like that um it's <laughs> i watched it pretty quickly it was actually really really easy to watch and then the last thing that i've been watching is wednesday like Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. I had no idea that I was going to like this show, but I am thoroughly intrigued to the point where I almost wanted to watch it again. I finished it like in one sitting and I kind of want to watch it again. I thought it was really interesting and I'm someone who's easily spooked. I mean, it's not scary, but it, you know, has certain like gotcha moments. Um, was a great show like it was well written the the uh jenna ortega who plays wednesday plays the fuck out of wednesday um it's dark but it's funny the characters are really interesting they look interesting it's a very visually pleasing show um I really, I, I don't know. I didn't, I don't know why I enjoyed it so much. Uh, maybe it's because I've always kind of been into mysteries. Um, and there is that mystery element to it. Um, but yeah, I, that one shocked me. I just kept seeing the trailer one day and I was like, do I, do I want to watch this? I don't want to watch this. This is not my cup of tea. This is not really my thing. And then I'm like, hmm. Maybe I should watch this. Maybe I don't want to see this. And then I was like, okay, let me watch maybe 10, 15 minutes of it. See how I feel. See if I like it. And then if I do, great. If I don't, 
whatever, moving right along. And I was hooked <laughs> from the time I started watching it. I was so fascinated by it. Like I said, it's Jenna Ortega, um, Catherine Zeta-Jones, um, a few other people. There's oh, the black girl. I can't remember her name right now. Uh, but she was great in it too. I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. Um, so that's what's going on with that. Um, well, listen, I just want to say thank you so much for coming back to this podcast or if you're just finding it new for listening and giving it a shot. Um, I appreciate everybody who has subscribed to my new YouTube channel and is excited about the video and excited about the merch. Um, and I just want to wish everyone happy holidays. Um, we're not at happy new year yet, but <laughs> happy holidays, uh, to everyone watching, everyone listening. I really 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 appreciate you um and thank you so much for being here i hope you'll come back um and if you don't i hope while you were here you had at least a little bit of a good time um and if you didn't you know if it's not for you it's not for you <laughs> but um seriously you know i always say i love doing this podcast i love talking I know it's been a little bit different because I haven't been in the closet, so I've been trying to find my footing um, with this new space and with the video stuff. And so thank you for bearing with me. Um, and yeah, thank you for rocking with me. And uh, you know, I think that's it. I think that's what we got for this episode. I will be back um, and I'll talk to you guys then. Bye.